Hello everyone, this is Babamots. Welcome to another Homeworlds game review. This game is between Will and Amnikin. Will is uh, one of the old guard, has been a very strong player for longer than I've been playing. Amnikin is newer, but is also very good, and has been uh, sort of dominating the board game arena, arena scene. Uh, Will goes first, picks a yellow banker. Amnikin takes a yellow fortress. Will trades for blue. Amnikin doesn't trade for blue right away. Will might uh, get a little bit of a freeze out. Amnikin spreads out their greens instead. Yeah, Will takes the last small blue. Let's see what Amnikin has in mind. Builds another green in the colony. Will spreads out their blues. Uh, Will is already in a position where they could do a shopping spree to pick up two mediums at once. Amnikin pushing forward their little green again, uh, but to a blue system, I, I thought maybe Amnikin had in mind that they'd move a, a green straight into Will's home and start trying to build to a, an overpopulation, but from a blue system they can't move, but from a blue system they can diversify, so... Uh, maybe they just want to start building their greens and, and other colors right in Will's face. That could be pretty interesting. Let's see if that uh, can counteract the large advantage that uh, Will has in material and uh, blue ships in particular. All right, Amnikin, what you got? Building green back at home. Uh, Will will probably trade something for green. No, getting aggressive? Really, going into that colony. Uh, Will doesn't have any red anywhere, but they can uh, can pick it up in a moment. If if I was Will, I would definitely have traded uh, blue for, for green so I could keep building more larges. Amnikin's ready for a shopping spree. Building up mediums? No, they took it back. Okay, that, that did seem very strange to me. I think they were one one turn too early on the shopping spree. Okay, yeah, if I'm Will, uh, I, th I think it's getting a little dangerous to trade for green now, but if, if Will doesn't want to get left out of the greens, they ought to. I think they ought to trade their large, and they do. Now Amnikin's ready for the shopping spree. Sort of, but... Since Will has a green, and Amnikin just cleaned out the rest, Will this choice of Amnikin's would give Will a chance to build a large green. I don't think I like that. Yeah, Amnikin doesn't like it either. They restart. Oh, they restart, but they do it again anyway. Um, golly, maybe. Amnikin thinks that uh, they'll be able to start pushing greens at Will quickly because Will hasn't got any, any red yet. I would definitely expect Will to uh, build that green. Oh, well, the blue's okay, too. I would have gone for the green. Amnikin will take the green. No, passing up the big ship. I'm really surprised that both players just passed up the big green. Um, Amnikin, first one with red, though, uh, that puts this, this medium red in, this medium blue in danger. And Will trading out the large blue at home. I guess that doesn't, uh, I would have been inclined to do, to trade one of the smaller ships so that I could sacrifice it for, uh, for a quick capture, not in Altea, it'll be too late by then, but somewhere else. But trading the large blue doesn't gum up the blue bank, so Will can build another large blue on their next turn, so that's not a not a terrible idea. Uh, retreating to a green star I don't think is going to do any good. Amnikin can just follow. Uh, Amnikin takes the turn to diversify... They develop their position some more. I, I liked Will's first choice better to trade the blue for red. Um, because now Will, I think, would like both to 
build a large blue, but they also need to get some red because otherwise these ships are going to start coming in and it's going to be annoying for Will to deal with. Okay, Will takes the large blue. Um, I'm expecting Amnikin to get pushy, bring in the probably the yellow since it matches a star. Oh, time for another shopping spree. Okay, well, that's also quite acceptable, I think. Thinking about moving into green, I would pick the yellow. Move two green ships. Oh, Amnikin's feeling a little indecisive. Uh, let's just fast forward till we get it. Okay, they move the green to this colony. Um... Yeah, so Amnikin can sacrifice G2 to build two more greens in Discworld and take out uh, Will's large ship, which would catch Amnikin up in material a large part of the way. Um, Will doesn't have much they can do about that. I suppose they could sacrifice the blue two to trade both of these ships for green so that Amnikin wouldn't be able to uh, build it, build two more greens in Discworld at once, but I, I don't think that's actually what they'll do. Will still passing up reds. I, I think Will needs some red in their home because otherwise I, I feel like the yellow is sitting here is too much of a threat. Okay, Amnikin gets the the build and demolition. Yeah, I think that's a, a very good move for Amnikin, but there's actually no reason to do that right away if they see something else they'd like to do first, I think. Yeah, like moving, like I think moving the yellow into Will's home is devastating. I think that's something Amnikin should strongly be considering. Maybe they're a little spooked that that would connect the home worlds. Yeah, but wiping out so much of Will's material is, is very good. Okay. Fairly close to even, I think. Will's got the additional large ship, but uh, Amnikin has more smaller ships and more diversity. Will still does not seem interested in getting a red. I am really very surprised at this point. Amnikin was thinking about moving in that yellow, which is, is definitely what I think I'd be doing. But instead, just pushing forward the green. Um... Yeah, that makes it harder for Will to build more green. Since Amnikin can move over in for an overpopulation if Will builds even one more green. And I guess just having more green at a blue star to build more and further diversify is good. Um, Will still has... Oh, and, you know, even more important than that, Amnikin is taking a, a, a blue star a blue piece out of the bank, turning it into a star. Will, I think, should be um, looking for opportunities to build that last large blue, get even more material. Amnikin wondering how to best use their uh, red advantage here. Build more or get aggressive. I... So I, I kind of like the Y2 sacrifice to discover the blue star, except that uh, Will isn't in a good position to build it right now. So it's not so urgent. I think Amnikin could take the two turns to move to a blue star, and it would be all right. Amnikin settles for just a, a green build... Um, 
yeah, my guess is that they want to now use this blue star to do some more diversification, have two very nice places to, uh, to build up. Will still completely uninterested in red ships. And it's, I'm sure it's got to cost them at some point. Uh, Will now spreading out their blues. So building another B3 is imminent. Amnicon green shopping spree. Yeah, that's okay. Uh, but it doesn't deal with this, this B3 problem. It does get Amnicon a bunch more small ships, though. Huh, yeah, not not uh, the choices I would make coming from either player here. Will ultimately has, has gained uh, a nice lead in large ships. Amnikin, though, has <laughs> the only red ship, uh, which is going to become a problem for Will sooner or later. It's just got to. Uh, and Amnikin, of course, has many more smaller ships, so I don't actually know who I favor here. I'm a sucker for having more large ships, so I guess I guess I might bet on Will. All right. Amnikin is in it for another bunch of builds. I'm guessing they're going to build two more yellows, which will put a real th make a real threat to Will's star. There they are. I think that's a very good choice, though there's also nothing wrong with uh, building more red and exaggerating the uh, head start that Amnikin has on the reds. Thinking about... okay, thinking about a few things. Uh, spreading out the greens and threatening to capture the little blue. That's not too bad. Uh, Amnikin, I think, would like very much to get a blue ship so that Will can't keep, uh, I call it milking the cow when you have a, a large ship in a color that your opponent can't reach, and so you trade it for another color and then build it again, and then trade it for another color and build again. Did Will finally get a red? Aha! Much better. So Amnikin's little, uh, colony threat here isn't looking quite so wise anymore. And Will is in a good position to move out and start uh, bothering these colonies. Amnikin sacrifices the green for two yellow builds. I think that's quite good. It threatens Will's home and also re... Uh, prevents Will from moving the large yellow into uh, Amnikin's colony, at least. Of course, Will could move in a different color, threatening to sacrifice the R3 for a bunch of captures. And Will milks the cow again. <laughs> if <laughs> I don't know if it... Is that going to catch on? I don't think that's going to catch on, but that's that's what it is in my head. Amnikin thinking about moving just one little yellow into Will's home. Um, that's okay. I think if I was Amnikin, I would not want to give Will the time to respond. Will here can move their yellow out so that they're going to lose their star either way, but Will would prefer to not lose their large ship as well. So Amnikin, I think, should sacrifice the, the Y2 to move in both at once. They're thinking about it. Okay, they've tried both, and they decide on the on the both at once. I think that is the better move, I think. Cuts down on Will's material advantage, and definitely a material advantage at this point. They've got uh, two large ships over Amnikin, and Amnikin has more small ships, but not all that many more. Um, what does Will want now? Will wants yellow. I think that's a good choice. Amnikin f wants another factory for red. Maybe, or just trade for yellow. Trade 
trades for yellow. That will discourage Will from getting more green at home. It's another green ship in the bank that uh, Amnicon can build. Let's see what happens next. Okay, Will huh, gets aggressive in this colony. I the, the main reason I don't like this all that much is that if Will is going to capture anything, they're going to do it by sacrificing their R3, which is their only large ship. Amnikon, in that case, has a fair chance of counter-invading and, and winning. Although Amnikon only has one ship to... one red ship to sacrifice as well. I failed to point out earlier that the homeworlds are now connected. So watch for uh, people to move directly from one to the other. I, I may forget at some point in in talking about this game that, uh, that that has happened, but I will try not to. Uh, Amnikin, th considering just a simple build, green build, um, I think Amnikin would be better off making that a factory build so that they could also pick up a, an, an additional R1 or maybe even trading their G2 for blue so that Amnikin would finally have a blue ship. Uh, running away from that colony, I I really don't know that Amnikin should be quite so scared of Will sacrificing their, uh, their R3. That seems like a something that Amnikin should welcome. Okay. I, I like the, the trade for red here. It, that way, if, if Will sacrifices their R3 to capture this mere G2, Amnikin can invade Will's home with a big red ship and start capturing everything. Although an R2 somewhere else is also quite good because then they could invade with the green and capture two at once if they come into Will's home. Yeah, Will definitely should not capture that G2. They back off and threaten those reds. I think that's a great move. Um, I think Will should be very happy to sacrifice R2 to capture all of Amnikin's reds and leave Will in a position where they still have some red. I think that's quite good. Uh, Amnikin sacrifices the R2 to capture the B1. And that's it, yep. So that keeps the, the larger of the two red ships that Will might have captured out of Will's hands and picks up the little blue. So Amnikin has a blue ship for the first time, and I think that capturing the R1, while it would keep Will in the red economy just barely, uh, large for a small is probably not a good trade here. Oh, let's see. Will sacrifices a Y2. What are they going to do with that? Oh, they could... Oh no, I, I was going to say that they could invade Amnikin's home with two larges, but they actually, which they could, they could move in with the G3, R3, but Amnikin can take the R3 and then the invasion's over. I was thinking that if this blue, if this large blue were connected to Amnikin's home, an invasion with, with G2, sorry, with G3, B3 right now would be fatal. Uh, Amnikin could only capture one, and then Will cap sacrifices R3 to capture everything Amnikin's got. But that B3 is not actually connected. Uh, Will, they they were probably looking at something of that type, but realized that it doesn't quite work out. Not yet. Um, Will builds a little yellow. My guess, because of the move that we just saw cancelled, is that they built that little yellow so that they can sacrifice it, move this B3 to somewhere that is connected to Amnikin's home, like the Zok colony, then sacrifice the Y2 to move in both the G3 and the B3 and uh, have a win. But now Amnikin has one turn to respond. Let's see what they come up with. 
well, I guess they really have two turns to respawn because Will still has to get this B3 into position, sacrificing the Y1. All right, Amnikin creating, I would say, definitely a false threat here, uh, or future threat, since Amnikin doesn't want to sacrifice their only red to perform this capture, and Will definitely doesn't want to sacrifice the R3 for it. Amnikin now... I think this is good. Um, Amnikin has the material disadvantage, so they're spreading out their ships. Or at least that would have been a good move, but they decided against it. Uh, factory to build a bunch more greens. Quite good. Um, that puts some pressure on the green in Amnikin's home. Amnikin trading for R2. Um, that's pretty good as well. It's uh, preventing that R2 is enough to prevent Will from winning by direct assault in the uh, manner that I discussed excessively a moment ago. Uh, another B2 would be nice. I think Amnikin would love to get their hands on a little more blue, but getting some more red also good, of course. Okay. What does Will do now? So they sacrifice the Y1 to move to this colony like I was thinking they would, but now that Amnikin has this R2, uh, Will is not going to be able to win by direct assault so easily. Amnikin just has to run this, this red away. Uh, running away and creating a threat at the same time is quite good. All right. Moving at home. Um, I think it's always very nice to have red power at home. Uh, part of the reason I typically take a red star. All right. Will now. I've been thinking for a while that it might be nice for Will to build another green to threaten uh, Will's factory setup. Uh, almost seemed like Will was reading my mind. Having another red that it is safe for Will to sacrifice is quite nice. If, uh, if nothing happens to that red, then Will can sacrifice little red to capture the little blue, and Will will have a complete blue monopoly again. Uh, trouble with Adding another red to this system, uh, Will's home, is Amnikin could sacrifice Y2 to move in two reds, taking out a large of Will's, and in a nice little bit of material catch-up, but it could also be that Will can't afford to lose that large more than Amnikin can afford to lose two mediums. But yeah, that little red is definitely makes a much bigger threat to uh, that little blue. So the little blue ought to run away if, if Amnikin's not going to overpopulate the reds, I think. Okay, it moves away to the Scaro system, where if it gets chased by red or blue, it could uh, overpopulate potentially with builds. Will backs off from that colony, joining up with the yellow over here. Um, yeah, all right. It's it's better defended now. Uh, the the yellow is better defended. I'm I'm a little surprised that they're backing off from that colony that was connected to Amnikin's home. It was in a more aggressive position. It was in a position where it could threaten either of Amnikin's colonies. Um, my guess is that Will wants it to be in a system where it can build, where Will can build that last B2 again. Amnikin thinking about a few different builds. They pick the small yellow. Yeah, if I'm Will, I think I complete the, the blue monopoly 
Yeah, keep that keep that Achilles color out of Amnikin's hands. Um, if if Will can hold on to all of these blue ships, then Amnikin will never be able to finish off Will's last home star. Alright, Amnikin takes some more red. That was another red one. Yeah, so Amnikin now has even more red connected to Will's home and definitely could be thinking about uh, moving in two small reds for the overpopulation. Will trading B3 for Y3. Yeah, back to milking the cow. Avnikin would like to block that uh, that B3 build, but I don't think they've got a good way other than trading their their B1, and they definitely don't want to do that. Okay, uh, moving in the reds. Good. Yeah, I think that's a good choice. Uh, so Will has got to get a red ship right now. Otherwise, Amnikin will come in and win. Uh, will, I think, should trade the Y3 for... Uh, sorry, the, the Y2 for red. I don't think they want to trade away the, the Y3 because that's really powerful. And they don't want to put any more blue in the bank than they have to. Oh no, no, Will. Don't build that B3. It's tempting, because that's a lot of material. But if Amnikin moves their G3 into your home right now, you're sunk, because you've got no red. Oh no! Oh, Will! I think Will must have forgotten that the homeworlds are connected. But I bet Amnikin doesn't. Really? Is there, Am I missing something? Why is Amnikin not jumping at this opportunity? Huh. What am I missing? I guess what I'm missing... And Amnikin probably thought about this for a very long time. You see, they, they thought about a few different things, including moving their green into Will's home, but took it back. I guess the problem has got to be that if Amnikin moves in with G3, Will can sacrifice Y3, move something, maybe a green, because it would overpopulate Amnikin's last remaining home ship, or a larger ship than Amnikin can attack, and reinforce their home with enough that Amnikin doesn't win right away, but Will proceeds to win in the next turn or two. I, I, I guess they've worked that out, and it's not quite safe. It, it, to me, it looks like Amnikin should move in and win. But I'm guessing they calculated more carefully, and, and this is not quite a win. All right. Um, so Amnikin doesn't invade. They spread out their greens. I guess just preparing to build more more medium greens. I uh Okay. Amnikin gets the the red now. Did I just say Amnikin will get some red now? So Amnikin doesn't uh can't invade and win as easily as it looked like they were going to be able to do. Amnikin thinking about a factory, but it's there's too much green in the way. They wouldn't re rebuild their, uh, their G3. Sacrificing Y2. No, restarting. Okay, we got around to it. Uh, just building a G2... Just building a G2 in a colony... Oh, okay, these, these colonies are connected to Will's home. I'm forgetting this is a, a microverse now, and there are no small colonies, so Will's home is connected to every system on the board. Except itself. 
will builds be two. I think that's quite good. Getting their blue monopoly firmed up again. Amnikin does now have enough room for a, a proper green shopping spree. Amnikin has never had a, a second large ship, have they? I think they've been on just one large ship this entire game, as far as I can remember. Let's, let's fast forward to where they make up their mind. Okay, green shopping spree. Um, yeah, that's that's okay. I'm 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 pretty scared for Amnikin right now that they haven't uh, got their hands on enough any more blue, and they uh, don't have an extra large ship to protect a colony. I think Will Will can be pretty passive, but at some point I think even Will is going to start invading colonies. Amnican trades for yellow. Will brings a red home, maybe? They bring a red ship home. Amnican now Building another small yellow, is that all? D sacrificing Y2 to double move. Hmm, why the double? So there are two large blues in the bank now. Did, uh, let's see. So one of those went back into the bank because the little blue moved away. Oh! Well, I'm not sure, but I think I might have preferred sacrificing the little yellow to move the B2 away. So Amnikin's done a kind of a nice thing. I think Will needs to invade the colony now if, if uh, Amnikin commits to this. But by putting a second large blue in the bank, Will can only build both of them by sacrificing the G3... And if they sacrifice the G3, Amnikin will get to build it another G3. And if Will doesn't do that, then Amnikin can build a, a B3, even if Will builds one first. So, not that Will actually has a very... Oh, yeah, in here in Oz, they can. So that's... I, I like that move in principle, but it puts the, the pressure on Will to invade the colony. So it might not actually be the best. Uh, they commit to that same move, more or less. Oh! Um, additionally, and I didn't notice this before, but this was in the previous version of this move, uh, Amnikin also has an investment here. They can sacrifice the the G1 to build a B3, even if both of these B3s somehow leave the bank. Uh, Will, quite quite passive still. I, I think they should be invading uh, a colony. Well, I guess they don't have to. They've they're they've just about got a doomsday machine. Amnikin now sacrificing the G3, rebuilding, getting a B3, and a yellow now. Okay. Um, I they want to do something a little different, I guess. No, they commit to that. Okay, so Will now needs to be a little scared again because Amnikin finally has a second blue ship. And it's even connected to Will's home. Will still has this little blue here, so Will's got to get that out of here right now. Um... What does Will do? Will might even... So they could sacrifice it. Or they could sacrifice a Y2, maybe, to move that blue and some other blue ship into Amnikin's home. Preparing for uh, an overpopulation. 
we're thinking about the Y2 sacrifice. Moving to a new small yellow system. Huh. That brings Will down to just one yellow ship. Uh, they'll need to find a way to get a lot more yellow if they're ever going to take um, Amnikin's yellow star out. Um, Will might be hoping to, to win by direct assault at some point. In fact, uh, if, if Will had just one more ship in their home right now, as long as it wasn't blue, um, Will would be... Oh no, these... Okay, I keep... Amnikin's home is not connected to the Oz colony, so... Will cannot sacrifice Y3 to move both this blue and both of these larges into Amnikin's home. Because Oz is not connected. Uh, I was thinking that Will was closer to a victory than they are. But if, if this B3 were in a connected system, then, and if Will had another ship to continue occupying their home, then Will could move in with three large ships. Amnikin could take two of them. Will could sacrifice the Y2 to take two ships back in Amnikin's home. And uh, Will would then still have uh, a red here in Amnikin's home that was part of the invasion force and would start cleaning up and would win in pretty short order. Just a thing to keep in mind. Amnikin factory building Y2 and R1. Uh, thinking about getting aggressive, invading the colony. Uh, Amnikin doesn't have a red that they're, they should be willing to sacrifice, though, so getting aggressive doesn't seem like the right answer right now. Building more red seems quite good. All right, what does Will have? Building red as well, okay. Now Amnikin has a, uh, a red they be, might be willing to sacrifice to pick up that blue. So Will should probably run, counter-invading at another colony. Amnikin now uh, sacrificing the G1 to build a B3. Yeah, so they've finally managed to cash in on that investment. And they've now got enough red blue to finish off Will's home star, but Will can sacrifice the red to capture that little blue. All right, but if Will were to invade that colony as well... Oh, I thought Will was going to invade Cybertron with a, a large blue now, but... Uh, hoping to capture one of those and again have enough blue for a doomsday machine. But instead, they're looking at invading Oz with a green, hoping to make a supernova. Maybe. Maybe. They've got a few other ideas. Okay, reinforce... I think that's quite good. Reinforcing this colony where they had their green stockpiled. Um... Otherwise, one of these larges from Oz might have invaded and threatened to capture things. All right. Oh, uh, Will, I th your your hold on the blues is a little tenuous. Um, if Amnikin builds just one more blue, they've got a doomsday machine. Amnikin cannot, or Will cannot afford to put any blue back in the bank. Uh, I think this would be a fatal mistake. Uh, okay. If Amnigan builds that, or even just even just trades it, yeah, they've got. They've got all the blue they need. Alright, let's see if Will can somehow make a miracle here. Um because I Amnigan is two moves from winning. They should 
uh, move in one of their bl blues, maybe the large, to also create a, a direct assault threat, and then sacrifice one. Oh, no. Oh, no, no. okay. Oh, jeez. Um, I can get pretty mixed up with connections. Okay. The Kobold Colony is, in fact, connected to Will's home, so they can move in direct. So Amnikin, on their turn, can sacrifice Y2 to move two blues into Will's home. And then, no matter what Will does, they can move in the third one. Unless Will's got something really clever right now. I don't see it, though. Yeah, even overpopulating those greens isn't going to do it. Okay, Amnikin moves in two blues with the uh, Y2 sacrifice. Will now, quite certain they don't have anything too great they can do. Okay, well, yeah, so Will resigns by abandoning their homeworld, but they've set up a, a new homeworld in the Chulak system, where I'm sure they will, they will thrive. All right, well, that was really quite a surprising game. I thought for a long time that Amnikin had invested too much in destroying one of Will's stars, because Will was so far ahead in material for a long time. Uh, Amnikin, with some pretty good cleverness, but also I think a few mistakes from Will. Will gave, gave Amnikin a little bit of slack in the blues too many times. Amnikin was able to see those those opportunities, realized that they needed to get that blue. They uh, picked them up whenever they had the chance. And uh, yeah, Amnikin comes from, from way behind, I think. Uh, congratulations to, to Amnikin, and thanks Will also for a, a great game. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.